Hello everyone, it's me, Wookie here, and um, I just wanted to say that the video that you're about to see takes place before I hit over 1,000, so it's going to talk about, um, it's going to talk about stuff about, you know, I didn't reach 1,000 yet, so we'll talk about that, but also I wanted to add this because I was very sick at the time and I forgot to add, this. the thing that we're talking about is specifically how I choose to make how to how I how I choose to give a unit a weapon. So there's obviously plenty of merit in actually going for I guess the strongest skill, but I still think that the way um I've kind of learned how to play I I you know listen to it with an open mind. I'm not saying that this is the ipso facto though. I just wanted to make that clear that this is not the there's no I didn't I'm not well, I'm talking in definitives here. This is just the way I like to play and I wanted to share like okay, this is how I do things. Also, um, we lost the, f no, we didn't lose the footage because I was sick. I never recorded any footage of the Dragalia stuff. So you're going to see some Dragalia footage, but if it feels like it, uh, it's off sync or something, it's because of, um, it's because I had to record it again. So there you go. Uh, thank you and enjoy the video. Goodbye. Begins. Hello everyone. It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with Zenron. Where shall I go? Oh. Yeah, you notice I didn't do my, my usual intro because I'm starting to <laughs> ease it up. Yeah, changed it up. I'm gonna start having to do. Uh, put, I'm gonna start putting it at the end. So get ready for that at the end, <laughs> or maybe I'll just put it in the middle of the video whenever I feel enough time has passed that I won't get demonetized you, when it you happens. Should do uh, get ready for another dolphin noise uh, adventure. Oh, so here's the crazy thing. Apparently, YouTube can sense that too. Welcome to the circus. They can, really? They can sense if you Let censor in the beginning of the um in the beginning of the video. That's really dumb because that's literally what censoring is for. It is crazy, right? Anyway, uh, it's wild. Pretty wild. For today's video, I figured um, we should talk about. So, some people are obviously joining up Dragalia Lost, and also because of the new event, um, you're going to get the option to choose a five elemental weapon. And just to show you, um, it doesn't come up fully unbounded, uh, but that's fine because now there's actual like items that you can just use on them, which is what you should do. Never make actual like, don't craft a, a weapon so many times at the final level and then feed it together. You have to wait for like the shop metals and then use those on them. That's a better way of doing it, and it saves you a lot of material. Unless you're a just crazy craft person. Just the one, the one uh, five star, just the it, one, and yeah. then buff it after that. Yeah. Good yeah. God, that grind is wild. It is. Welcome to the uh, I chose Blackwing because I to go with my Iyasu, just because um, Iyasu is extremely good, and he did not have a weapon until recently. But this also means that I now have two five blades, one at uh, one for fire and one for dark. Uh, what? Who did you end up choosing it for? Um, uh, that... Gala Clea. Okay, that's another good uh, option. So the main thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that for weapon selection, I think a lot of people don't know uh, exactly what's the best weapon to pick, and I think they kind of get lost at that exact moment. Like, because there's, uh, there's some five weapons, for example, I'll say uh, as we look into it. Oops, I picked the wrong one. Let me look into crafting. The one uh, five weapon that I'll say is just bad overall, and you don't really need it for the unit, is... Um, Bo. Bo has, I think, the worst uh, options for a five elemental weapon in general. I think uh, there's only one that does damage, and it's um, it's the Thunder Bow. That's basically the only one. And oh, apparently, the both only the light and the shadow ones, but the other ones they only give you a buff, basically. And also, uh, bows are still that's been since day one the weakest um, class in the game, and is still the weakest class in the game. The only bad. Yeah, shocker. The only exception is there's only there's few there's some bow arrows that are able to to transcend their class, but they're far and few between. I'll say, like uh, obviously Cerise is so good that you can't ignore her her goodness, even though she is a bow unit. So obviously, if you have Cerise, so here's the one I want to say: you should pick weapons based on the unit itself and not what actually the weapon does. That's the way I've kind of been rolling. Because here's the thing that will always trip someone up is that they don't know what to pick for a weapon because they don't know if the weapon will be good. And then also some people will just use the weapon and it will never be anything for it. But if you always decide like, okay, so for example, a lot of people rolled for the prince. If you have the prince, you're going to keep the prince for an extremely long time. So therefore, the prince getting the five star weapon is a good choice. 
But if you were to choose, like, and then also that means that all the other um, five uh, swords, like Albert, like, for example, if for whatever reason you decide that you need to use Albert uh, because the prince isn't working out in whatever situation. I want to say he doesn't have... Okay, so yeah, he has poison and curses sus sus susceptibility. Is that how you say that? Did I say that word right? Um, yes. Anyway, the main point I was trying to say is that you should always pick weapons based off of the unit itself and not actually what um, the weapon does because when it's the third skill, it's the smallest, the, the short, not the short, it's the longest charge of any skill in the entire game, so you're barely ever going to use it. And for some units, like, even when you do use it, it's not the greatest. So... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, my main my main basic thing is always pick based off a unit. How has been... So, as someone who's come in, Zen, because you've come back, uh, what has always been what the thing that's kind of stalled you uh, on choosing a weapon? people laugh, I guess. Want to hear a joke? Uh, for this one specifically, it was mostly because, like, it's hard to tell where it's worth putting in the, the time, right? Because, Might go for, for example, actually working the most on... But at the same time, he already had a 5-star that just wasn't as good. It was just a, an old event one that's kind of meh. Mm -hmm. So it was like, is it worth getting him the buffed weapon and then holding someone else on the team back? Considered just getting one for my favorite character and decided not to because that would have been a stupid waste. Objectively, probably best character that I have. Yeah, the, the Cleo, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll also say, for a general, as I say, like, oh, you should choose which, um, based off of what adventures you're really using. If you have Galicleo and she does not have her five weapon, always pick Galicleo. Galicleo is insanely powerful. It is the best unit in the game. It doesn't even matter that her weapon kind of sucks. It boosts her overall damage in general. So that's why it's, um, also good, because once the, um... Once the weapon is fully unbounded, I want to say that whatever it's giving is times two. So they become even more crazy powerful than they were previously. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm still got, I'm still recovering from my cold. But yeah, I think that's, uh, that's something in Dragalia that is uh, extremely hard for new people to get just kind of a grasp over. Because they have the units that they're using a lot. But also, if they don't know how long this unit is going to last, right? Because who knows for some units, like, some units could easily be, like, you could be using them all the time, and then all of a sudden there's a new unit that gets replaced, and you want to use them, but then you have to realize the fact that now the AI has control of your best weapon and your best unit while you want to use a new unit. That makes sense. Yeah, I I've been working my ass off to get a five-star sword for, um, Ellie. Mm-hmm. And I'm like super close, and then this came out, and I was like, "Oh, it's really hard to resist just taking the shortcut." Yeah, yeah I fought it off. Nice. Uh, were you able to grind uh, the Imperial onslaught while it was times two drops? All of my skill into the uh, yeah, and I got screwed really bad on, on a lot of the like the tokens and stuff. I think I have like a hundred dagger tokens now, and I don't use any dagger characters. Yeah, that that's definitely still um, an issue for some. I was hoping that I could like trade them, like maybe five of uh, what you cannot. No. <laughs> can't trade them. No, you can't. I will say some events will eventually give you the option of trading in specific currency for um, like a hundred of those. But uh, we don't have that kind of event now because the event that's currently up is um, the Fractured Futures, which gives you a free weapon. So it kind of is like a, a move yeah, point regardless. I'll definitely take it. Uh, I am pretty close, though. I think if I grind Fractured Features really hard, um, I'll get enough of the materials that I need. Yeah. Show or, yourself, uh, wind villains. And grinding so Fractured peaceful, Features right? is pretty good because there's also a lot. There's a, a Blazing I Summon. You. So I need to usually what I do is literally I don't put it, I don't reset the entire box. I basically reset until I have all the dragons I need. And then I'll do the whole thing of like, all right, now I guess I, I have to get everything in the box. Because usually, depending on what's in the box, like for this time, it's, uh, it should be, yeah, it's, um, it's darkness orbs and also darkness wings. And that will help a whole bunch if you're starting out and you're like, um, your dark team is not the best, which to be fair, almost everyone's in the game's dark team is not the best. Unless you were playing from the beginning and got crazy lucky with all the dark banners that came out and you have, or you have Galicleo, whichever one. 
Uh, so that's a good one to grind for specifically trying to get your units um, more powerful. And there's also like actual mana inside there. Because I know, uh, Zen, when you started out, you were like, how do I get more mana? And yeah, the mana still kind of sucks. I, I have a lot now, and I don't know where it came from. That's the problem. Yeah. Is I played, and I was like, oh, I should start putting mana in my guys. And I was like, holy shit, I have a lot of mana. And I have no idea where I got any of it, so I can't go get more. No, no, that's the... That's the Dragalia kind of, um, I was going to say the Dragalia problem. Uh, it's kind of something that's in Dragalia where it's like, I don't know where this mana is coming from, but also I have a bunch of it, even though I didn't have it a whole bunch previously. And um, especially with them deciding to give certain characters a six mana circle coming up, we don't know how much that's going to cost. But if it's going to be cost more than a five mana circle, that shit's going to be mad expensive. I put all of my Yeah, mana's already really expensive. It is, and for new players, it's something that's um, really hard to grasp. And it was also very hard for high-tier players back in the day until you actually had a solid grounding of what your team is going to be. Uh, which I think is what's the main problem, is that in Dragalia, you technically have to make uh, a team of all elements, all of them four characters, and there's five elements, so you have to get twenty, basically 20 characters up and running. And that's a lot to actually like grind for and make um, workable. It's, that's why a lot of people will be like, I'm actually just going to use Galicleo on everything. Because I already have her powered up and she's also extremely amazing already. So if that saves me on some mana circles and my team still works out fine, then everything should be good. But for some events where it's like... Uh, where the what's the best way of describing how fucked the level is getting i haven't um so there's a new version of the raid called the omega raid um that is beyond nightmare and nightmare was the per oh, good so nightmare was the hardest difficulty and then they decided to add raid buffs to help make nightmare better because if you do nightmare by the way you get um a special reward so you get a ground a grant every single time you beat nightmare on a raid you get a grand bounty and um inside of the grand bounty is basically that seven day pack with this double the double bonus and for the longest time only the top tier players could actually get it consistently so as um my co-founder and trash alliance said the rich got richer and the poor stayed poor <laughs> <laughs> yay yeah so now with the raid buffs uh more people should be able to beat nightmare and it'll be easier and you'll get that buff and it's there's a lot of good stuff in the chest that will help you grow so uh definitely try and grind out those raid buffs to help you beat nightmare but beyond nightmare is something called omega and uh the omega raid is extremely tough amazing. it is she extremely to like um, Many my, my uh, again, Trash Alliance Slurp. Oh, he did he did the event, and he said this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is the this is the <laughs> hardest thing I've we've I've, uh, the hardest thing to fight basically. The so good luck begins. trying to get to it. And I've been trying Perhaps to grind my I'll way through hard. there, but it's going to be tough as someone who didn't want to do Nightmare for the most part because I just didn't have. And for the exception of my fire case. team, which has Mim, I did not focus on anyone else. <laughs> I kind of let. I kind of let my other elements die so that one character could survive and thrive. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of a basic understanding, I think, of how the weapon selection goes. We kind of went into some other directions, but I think for the base part, I think people I understand uh, whatever unit they're game. super using a whole bunch, support them with whatever um, weapon you can, is my basic yeah, thing. And if you have Galicleo... Even from four stars, it's a big jump. Yeah, yeah. And so with that, uh, that's a that's another I fucking adventure. Boom! Right. Did you didn't expect that <laughs> right there at the end? <laughs> Got him! Boom! All right, everyone. Uh, if you liked the video, this is the part where every YouTuber says, uh, and I can't believe I'm gonna say that I'm a YouTuber. I technically am. Do I count? Zen, do I, I count? On YouTube, bro, it counts. All right, good. Then I don't count. I don't count. So. I mean, all right. So now that I am one, then I have to say you have to leave a like, leave a comment if you want to talk about specifically. How did you decide to give a weapon? Did you do what Zen? Did you uh, fall to temptation like Zen tried? Did uh, avoided and actually just gave a weapon to like Bride Ellie because you're like fuck everything else, Bride Ellie number one. Hey, she's good. Yo, she is good. I'm just saying. She's top tier for sure.
No, no, no mini differentiate. I was trying to say a, a bad unit, but then I didn't. Did you decide to give Hawk a five bow? <laughs> because uh -huh. you're, you're a huge <laughs> Hawk stan. Uh, you're the only person in the world who's a giant Hawk stan, and you said this, my boy needs his weapon. Tell me about it. Leave a comment, and of course, hit the subscribe uh, button, whatever the fuck it is, if <laughs> you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye, Zen. Uh, goodbye. Sorry, I, was, I literally just started to yawn right as you said say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Skill with a bow has Perfect. its limits.